Absolutely, and it's not going to be awful today. Uh, we've certainly seen better days, and certainly average highs in the upper 40s. Yeah, that's a pipe dream. Don't even think about that. Uh, temps in most areas are near or below freezing, at or below freezing. Metro is just above freezing, as is City Airport in Detroit, and the winds are starting to pick up. So. You're looking at 30s here, but I want you to think 20s if you're heading out the door right now. That's what the wind chill is. And keep in mind also, untreated streets and, and roads and sidewalks uh, could have some ice on them, so be aware of that. Hey, great storm pin from Brighton. Pam sent this in. Boy, that's a Christmassy shot. The snow flying there. And a, boy, don't cut that thing down. That is a beautiful tree right there. Thanks for sending that in. That's a good looking shot. All right, instead of the usual satellite uh, image, I want to show you a water vapor image from our GO 16 satellite because this shows more structure in the atmosphere. And look at this. You see this little spiral right here? This is a compact, potent upper level disturbance that's going to cross Lake Michigan and come right across the lower peninsula today. And I've seen these many times in my career. And when it happens in the winter, you start picking up some moisture and you energize the lake effect machine and you start generating snow showers. And in fact, we're already seeing some of those breaking out to our west. So you can see now here's a band right here that is you can see it's moving east northeast. So the primary impact is going to be basically the northern half of the area, but we're generally north of M59 or so. And the biggest impact is going to be farther north, north of I-69, where you see a bigger area of that snow. It's going to continue to expand up there as we move through the morning hours as that disturbance comes through. So by 8 o'clock, you can see here's that band rotating through. And look what happens by lunchtime. It's pretty much gone, so we're cloudy, or at least mostly cloudy, for the rest of the day, and we're going to be quiet, relatively quiet, through the night. Then as we get into tomorrow, a cold front's approaching, band of snow breaking out ahead of it. Watch what happens as the front starts progressing south. Uh, that moisture starts to race east, and we start seeing the snow breaking up. It doesn't mean no more snow. You can see there's still some bands to the north, but through the afternoon, if you're going to Ann Arbor for the game, Scattered snow showers, maybe even some rain showers in there. This is kickoff at four o'clock, so there still could be a rain or snow shower around, but then diminishing as we head into the nighttime hours. So today, 38 the high. It's going to be a windy day. Keep in mind, a gust could be to 30 miles an hour this afternoon, and no big travel problems for the week ahead, Kim. No big storms in the forecast. Cold, I mean, highs only in the 30s all the way through Wednesday, but right now, Thanksgiving itself is looking pretty good. Sounds good. Definitely want to bundle up this weekend, though, especially if you're going to that game. Uh, let's take a look at some construction over on eastbound I-94 that could affect you tonight. Tra if you travel this way, eastbound I-94 right at Belleville Road. We've got only one lane open. This construction will start up at 9 p.m., wrapping up tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. I also want to keep you updated on this other project, eastbound I-94 right at Southfield Freeway. Only one lane open starting tonight, 9 p.m. This will wrap up 7 o'clock, uh, 7 p.m. on Sunday. Also, northbound Southfield Freeway right at I-94. Only one lane open there as well, 9 p.m. to 7 o'clock on Sunday evening. And then I also want to let you know that the uh, northbound Southfield ramp to I-94 will be closed during that time. Also this morning, a big congratulations to Port Huron High School's marching band for winning Local 4's for Frenzy's Best Marching Band for the second year in a row. The students said they worked even harder this year to win the award, but none of this would be possible if it weren't for one person. While other students are off enjoying their summer vacation, Port here on High starts marching band practice in June. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hours over the summer. They knew they needed to maintain their title from last year, so slacking was not an option. We worked probably harder than we did last year. But band practice in the summer? Sometimes practicing between two and four hours a day? Who wants to sign up for that? Senior trombone leader Javon Moncrief says the hard work doesn't turn people away. Band is different at Port Huron High. Everyone wants to be involved. Honestly, I came into high school with the cliche thoughts of, yeah, man geeks and jocks. It's not that way. We have band kids who are jocks. It's clear the practice has paid off. The band sounds amazing, and the students agree it's all thanks to this guy. Mr. Jones is an amazing band instructor. Scott Jones has been the band instructor at Port Huron High for the last seven years. Just by listening to this band, you can tell he's doing something right. But he says 
he's trying to produce more than just a good band every year. He wants to produce good citizens. I promote character a lot, and they know when the rubber hits the road, it's because I care that I push them so hard. Mr. Jones says teaching these students how to push themselves in band is a great way to also teach them life skills they'll use well beyond their days at Port Huron High. Band forces you to try to hit perfection. We don't usually get there, but they learn you can still push yourself to do that, and it's fun when you achieve things that you didn't know you could do. Wow. Yes, it is fun. Congratulations to them. Yes, get this. They had 4,000 votes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. So they were really, had they people voting for them. Exactly. And they, they're really good. Makes all that summer band practice worth it. Absolutely. Exactly. All right. A lot of practice. Cool stuff. It is 5.50, everybody. Coming up next right here on Local 4 News today, Ding Dong. A good Samaritan actually at the door. Yeah, and the homeowner got something back that she probably thought was long gone. We'll show you what her doorbell camera recorded coming up next. On the next Live in the D, the hottest toys to get this Black Friday. Plus, it's a neighborhood hotspot, and you've probably never had home cooking like this. Today at 10 a.m. on Local 4. When you need help, you know who to call. I'm only getting warm by that stove right there. It is freezing outside. There's snow on the ground. People can't be treated this way. Today, starting at 5, be there as Help Me Hank comes to the rescue across the city. It didn't look what I'm on. Tell me how I'm going to get up there. They can't get upstairs, so I guess I just need somebody to explain it. Plus, need a rescue? Hank wants to hear from you. Call the Help Me Hank phone bank, and our expert team will take your tips. Today on Local 4 News. Are you looking for a pre-owned car, truck, or SUV? Well, then click on Feldman1800preown.com and see the largest inventory of pre-owned vehicles, all on your mobile device. This month, we've stocked up with hundreds of hand-picked trucks and SUVs. All price below $10,000. Put us to the test. Drive it for three days, love it, or bring it back. It's our exclusive three-day buyback guarantee at the new number one number in pre-owned, Feldman1800preown.com. You ever been to a big airport and they make you park so far away that the shuttle ride is longer than the flight? Well, you'll appreciate the less expensive, more convenient parking we have here at Flint Bishop Airport. And you'll also appreciate this. Ultra low fare non-stop lights to Fort Lauderdale, Fort Myers Punta Gorda, Orlando Sanford, and Tampa Bay St. Pete. Book online only at Allegiant.com. Talk about great news. Flint Bishop Airport. Not the only way to fly, just a better one. Marvel Universe Live, an action-packed live arena show. It's the ultimate family experience. Tickets start at $20. See it live at Little Caesars Arena this Thursday through Sunday. For tickets, visit MarvelUniverseLive.com today. I think I love you. Fall in love with the best bread on the planet. Fall in love with farm fresh ingredients and homemade soups and salads. Fall in love with a Detroit original. I think I love you. I think I love you. Come fall in love. English Gardens has the biggest and best selection of Christmas trees and decorations anywhere. This week, Christmas lights, traditional and LED, 20 to 50% off. Everyone's excited about the award-winning Chevy vehicles at your local dealer. I could get used to this. And you will be, too, when you get these great deals on your favorite Chevy cars, trucks, and SUVs. How is that even possible? <laughs> GM employees with a current GM lease can lease this 2018 Chevy Cruze for $149 a month. Or during the Black Friday sales event, get 0% financing for 72 months plus $500 cash allowance when you purchase and finance with GM Financial. Local 4 Sports is brought to you in part by Randazzo Heating and Cooling. Local 4 Traffic is brought to you by Wallside Windows. Right now, get every second window free, plus an additional 18% off for cash or five years no interest. Call and schedule today. 
All right, if you're up early and you're kind of preparing the kids or you're at least thinking about what you're going to prepare the kids with today, well, it's going to be a cold day. Uh, there could be some snow showers for the morning bus stop. The best chance for those are north, but all of us are at risk. Uh, looks like low 30s to get the kids out the door, but wind chills are in the 20s. This afternoon, 38 for the high, uh, dry but breezy. The wind could be gusting to 30 miles per hour, and if you're heading to that Michigan game tomorrow, Boy, we have um, snow, maybe some rain mixed in for the morning into the early afternoon hours. Scattered light snow showers for kickoff, and then a mainly dry game with light wind. Kim? All right, bundle up for that. And here's what's going on for your morning commute. We have an accident reported over in Dearborn, Michigan Avenue, just west of Schaefer. A rollover accident is reported there. We'll keep you updated on this one. We have some sad news to report this morning. Model and actress Kim Porter has died. Porter is the mother of three of the musician and entrepreneur Sean Diddy Combs children, and she passed away on Thursday at her home in Toluca Lake, California. Porter and Combs were a couple for more than a decade until 2007. They have twin daughters that are just 11 years old and a son together. At this point, it's a, it's a Los Angeles County coroner's investigation, um, and uh, there will be an autopsy performed. And at that point, we'll remain in contact, uh, LAPD homicide, with the doctor. Um, we don't, do not see any foul play at this point, so we'll just keep in contact with the doctor based upon his investigation. I just feel for her twin daughters yeah. and her family. Beyond her modeling career, Porter made several film and television appearances, including roles in The Brothers and the TV series Wicked Wicked Game. And Porter was just 47 years old. Very, very sad. Yeah, it is. A Washington woman is thanking a good Samaritan for something that she really didn't think happened these days. Right. She lost her wallet on a snowy city street and her doorbell camera captured a man on her porch who found the wallet and returned it to her home. The man in Dallas had he picked it up and pinpointed the address. First, he tried to put it in the mailbox, and then he tucks it safely under her doormat. Katie Egger, Marcus is her name, and she was working out early Thursday when the doorbell camera alerted her that someone was at her door. You're looking for package theft or car break-ins or something that's happening on your street. You're very rarely looking for something good. Typically in the city, if you lose your wallet, um, it's gone. There's so much negativity that we always see these days and especially the last couple weeks I think it's been really rough on people so I was really happy just to share something really positive. Very nice. Yeah. Whoever the Good Samaritan is he saved Marcus a lot of time and money trying to track down the wallet and of course replacing everything. I had yeah. my wallet stolen while I was on vacation um, a month ago and it is a pain. Of course, <laughs> of course it is. It's a total hassle, so very nice that she was able to get it back. Yeah, absolutely. Good people out there. 557 yes, is your time now. And coming up all new at 6 o'clock, local stories for you from Detroit, Chesterfield Township, and West Bloomfield. And the happiest place on earth turned into a bed bug nightmare for one visitor. Now there's a lawsuit against Disneyland out in California. And we all love Fago. It's bringing back a fan favorite but with a little bit of a twist. We'll have that for you, a taste test and our reaction to it coming up in just a little bit. Congratulations to the local high school athletes that won Local 4's 4 Frenzy Fan Choice Awards at clickondetroit.com slash 4 Frenzy. Presented by DMC's Children's Hospital of Michigan, Meyer, your Southeast Michigan 4 dealers, and Hungry Howie's Pizza. We've been cleaning rugs for over 75 years and we have lots to celebrate. Pagopian's two-for-one rug cleaning special is going on now. Bring your rugs to us and we'll clean every other rug free or ask about our pickup and delivery service. Visit OriginalHagopian.com. Three little words have the power to change your home. It's Black Friday now at Gardner White. Get the steals you'll love before Thanksgiving with no tax. Start with 65% off, then take 20% off our sale prices. Yes, 20% off price tags that are already the lowest with no tax on everything and no other store gives you 60 months interest free no down payment free tvs same day delivery and free target gift cards don't even think about another sale get the black friday steals you'll love home before thanksgiving friday and saturday only at gardner white and i don't know how you live in a community and not care about your neighbors at the mike morse law firm we've tried to do our part in lots of ways people are counting on us to win we never forget that i'm mike morse and let's go for the win 855 Mike wins. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News Today at 6 starts now. Community crime alert. Detroit police warning families about a serial home invader. It's a troubling trend. We'll tell you where it's happening.
Plus, a desperate search for survivors. As the, de the death toll rises from the California wildfires, so does the number of missing. And right now, there are more than 600 people unaccounted for. And new this morning, North Korea announcing another weapons test. A weapon state media calls ultra modern and tactical. And this comes after talks with the U.S. were postponed. Good morning, oh. everybody. Welcome to Friday. A big old party taking place in downtown Detroit between Hobnobble Gobble at Ford Field and mm -hmm. the tree lighting at Campus Marshes. I'm just trying to think, when am I going to get a chance to sleep? Oh, yeah. There's so much. I mean, there always is so much going on yeah. here in Metro Detroit. But, like, yeah, for just real, fire it up and you can't miss enjoy anything the fun. this weekend. <laughs> Tell uh, me about it. We're going to talk about that coming up in just a little bit. But Kim DeJulio actually has some good news for people who use I 75 downriver. Yeah. We'll check in with her coming up in just a second. But first, Paul Gross in for Brandon this morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, and uh, it's uh, becoming an increasingly breezy morning. A lot of clouds out there. Temps are right around freezing. Some areas are 30, 31. The warm spot is 33 in Detroit, and so you factor in winds that in some cases are blowing at 15 to 20 miles an hour. Wind chills are in the 20s. In fact, take a look. Uh, the wind is blowing at 14 miles per hour right now. City Airport, 17 miles per hour at Metro. 13 miles per hour in Ann Arbor, 15 miles per hour in Adrian. So again, you factor in that with the temperature, wind chills generally in the 20s right now. So I want you to think 20s when you head out the door. As far as snow is concerned, yeah, here's a band of snow coming. The most noticeable impact will be across the northern part of the area. You can see it's right now just moving into western uh, Livingston County. So morning snow showers, particularly to the north, and then a quiet afternoon, except that it's going to be windy. High temperature, 38 degrees, but it's again going to be wind gusts near 30 miles per hour. Can all right, thank you, Paul. Well, let's take a look at your maps this morning for your commute. If you're headed out the door soon, we are looking good. Uh, you can see that our freeways, uh, we've got green on the map, so nothing to slow you down. And we've got that good news. Southbound I-75 between I-96 and Spring Wells back open after two years being closed down now. Not so fast though, only one lane open at this time, but still progress, very exciting. But if you do travel that way during the rush hour, you may still wanna use your alternate route. Now this whole project, project is expected to be finished uh, by the end of December or early January. So we will keep you updated on that. I also wanna remind you that Spring Wales and Schaefer ramps are open to southbound I-75 as well. So some exciting news here in the traffic department. Over to you. Wow, it certainly is. Kim, thank you. Meanwhile, our breaking news this morning out of Detroit Seaside. Police are investigating another attempted smash and grab robbery. Same news as yesterday, only a different business owner. This time it happened at the Five and Dime Holistic Center. This is a medical marijuana shop in the area of Dwyer Street near 8 Mile. It's unclear what was taken. And it is a troubling crime spree that has Detroit police issuing a warning for families. And that warning is to lock your doors and your windows uh, and be extra vigilant. As local force Dick Monticelli reports, a man is going around breaking into homes, targeting young girls sleeping inside. Good morning. The story is incredibly disturbing for a couple of reasons. As of right now, there have been three home invasions near the area of Nichols and the Southfield Freeway, all of them targeting the homes of young girls. However, none of the girls have been touched. They haven't been sexually assaulted, so nobody really knows what this guy is trying to do. It's just sad. I have a daughter myself and I'll lose it if that was to happen to me. This father doesn't want his face shown because his daughter already encountered a burglar in their home earlier this year. Detroit police say over the past two and a half weeks, young girls are waking up finding a strange man in their room. In fact, there have been three home invasions near McNichols and the Southfield Freeway. You break in someone home and you take nothing, you know, just stand over the kid or whatever. It can be a pedophile, it can be just somebody that's just mentally off. But again, none of the girls have been assaulted or even touched, so no one really knows what this man is doing. But we are definitely looking through all of our uh, home invasions to see if there's any additional uh, break-ins that match the pattern, but as of yet, no. Detroit police do say, though, the man has been getting into the homes through unlocked doors or windows. So we want the citizens to be sure to uh, lock their doors when they're even when they're at home, but especially at night. Whatever's going on, catch the guy, get him locked up or get him help, whatever he need, get him off the streets. 
Now here's where you can come in. The Detroit Police Department is asking anybody that lives in the area that has a home surveillance system to check the recordings from their cameras, hoping they might have caught something because the victims didn't get a good look at the guy who was wearing a hoodie. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today. Time now is 604 and the death toll in California has risen down to 66 as a result of the devastating wildfires that are burning all across the state. The bulk of those deaths come from the Camp Fire in Northern California, and now a new fire has emerged in Southern California, just miles from the Woolsey Fire, which is in Ventura County. This all comes as crews search for the more than 600 people reported missing since the start of the fires and hundreds of thousands of acres have burned. Residents now bracing for floods. There's a greater risk to life through these mud flows than there are actually to these wildland fires. And with the increased risk for mudslides and floods, crews are preparing for a plan of action. And mudslides in the Montecito area earlier this year took the lives of 17 people, and they even destroyed hundreds of homes. Very, very devastating. Mm, it certainly is. We have learned that two Detroit police officers could now be facing disciplinary action over this video that we first showed you on Wednesday. Oh. Oh, watch out. He's shooting. The point is, he came out the house, so. That is a homeowner that you see recording as a bullet goes right through his front window. Officers were responding to the complaint about a vicious dog in the neighborhood. Video taken by a neighbor shows a dog charging at the officer. She fires a shot at that dog but misses, and the bullet ricochets and goes right through the front window of this house with a man and his kids inside. Police say that the officers followed protocol but could be disciplined for not having their body cameras on. No one was injured, thankfully and the dog belongs to the next door neighbor who was ticketed. The ongoing corruption probe in Macomb County into Macomb County politics rather is sending another elected official to prison. Former Chesterfield Township Supervisor Michael Lovelock has been sentenced to two years behind bars. Lovelock told the court on Thursday that he took thousands in bribes from former trash titan Chuck Rizzo. The bribes were in exchange for his favorable treatment of Rizzo's contracts. So far, the U.S. Attorney's Office has indicted 20 people in connection to that probe. New this morning, North Korea says that leader Kim Jong-un has observed the successful test of a newly developed high-tech tactical weapon. This is the first weapon test to be publicly announced since last year. It comes as uh, negotiations between Washington and Pyongyang over the nation's nuclear weapons program have been halted. The U.S. State Department has described the postponing of those talks as purely a matter of scheduling and has refused to elaborate. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been charged under seal. This news was inadvertently revealed by prosecutors in a recently unsealed court filing. The filing was related, unrelated to Assange and could advance the probe into Russian interference into the 2016 election. A judge is expected to make a ruling in the lawsuit CNN has filed against President Trump. It was filed after the White House suspended the press pass of reporter Jim Acosta. And if the judge grants CNN's request, Acosta would get his press pass back. 607 is your time now. And there is a, a shocking twist to a very heartwarming story that caught nationwide attention. Jason Carr joining us in studio now with more on that. Good morning. Good morning. What was supposed to be an act of kindness, now a get rich quick scheme. Are you kidding me? How greed eventually caught up with this New Jersey couple and the so-called Good Samaritan. Rhonda. And we're back at Orchard Fitness. No weights, just movement. It's called O Movement, and it's a fitness Friday for all ages. Coming up next. When you need help, you know who to call. I'm only getting warm by that stove right there. It is freezing outside. There's snow on the ground. People can't be treated this way. Today, starting at 5, be there as Help Me Hank comes to the rescue.